Paradoxical breathing is an abnormal respiratory pattern characterized by an inward movement of the chest wall during inhalation, followed by an outward movement during exhalation. We created this video to cover the medical definition and provide a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Breathing is a phenomenon that occurs automatically with no conscious awareness thanks to the autonomic nervous system. Structures within the brain send signals that control the rate and depth of breathing that occurs to meet the ventilatory needs of the body. Looking at the respiratory rate tells us how fast or slow a patient is breathing. Looking at the depth tells us how deep or shallow a patient is breathing. Ideally, every patient would have a normal breathing pattern with a normal rate, depth, and rhythm. Unfortunately, as you know, this isn't the case. As previously mentioned, paradoxical breathing is an abnormal respiratory pattern that occurs when the thoracic cavity moves outward during expiration and collapses inward during inspiration. This abnormal pattern is associated with a decreased pressure gradient, which fails to stimulate normal breathing and can result in respiratory failure. Paradoxical breathing can result from diaphragmatic fatigue or paralysis. However, it's most commonly associated with trauma or an injury to the chest wall. One type of chest trauma that I want to point out is known as a flail chest, which is a traumatic injury where a portion of the rib cage is fractured and becomes detached from the chest wall. It occurs when there is a fracture of three or more adjacent ribs. When this occurs, the flail section moves in the opposite direction, which is known as a paradoxical movement aka paradoxical breathing. This abnormal pattern may also be seen in infants and children as well, which is a sign of respiratory distress. Some other examples of abnormal breathing patterns include apneustic, biot respirations, chain stokes, and Kussmaul breathing, each of which are patterns that we've discussed in other videos here on our channel. But again, for this video, we just wanted to provide you with a brief overview of this topic. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.